Right, what's up everybody back again with another video today this is the iphone 12 pro max we're gonna unbox it here and this video is mainly about showing you how to transfer data from your old iphone to the new iphone now it's multiple ways you can do this you can do this with icloud you can do it now with phone to phone transfer and my favorite one to do is transferring data using the computer because for one it's a lot faster also too you can ensure that all your data will transfer properly when trying to transfer big video files and photos through Wi-Fi it can take a long time and then it's a possibility that some of the data will be missing so of course we all know what comes in the box no power, no power brick this time. We have a lightning to USB type C cable, some literature, and of course the actual phone. All right. And there you have it. This is the Pacific Blue iPhone 12 Pro Max. And also too, we're gonna do a transfer, a data transfer using the computer. I am on a Mac. It will work the same with Windows as well. Um, so long you have iTunes downloaded on the Windows computer, but first thing we want to do is we want to power this on because if you're running iOS 14.1 on your current phone, it's not going to transfer. You want to update this phone because it's not going to transfer the data if both of the phones are on is on a different software update than this current phone. So we want to update all the phones to the latest software before we do this. So we're just going to power this one on. All right, so now basically what we want to do is we want to just set this phone completely up as a new phone. All right. So guys, keep in mind, this is a little bit of a process if you want to get your phone back to the original way or all the settings and all the apps and currently like on your current phone, this is a little bit of a process to get this going. So you want to set up your Wi-Fi. And for this part, we just want to click continue everything else anything like face id anything like that we can set all of that stuff up later all right create a password here you have options to restore from icloud backup restore from mac or a direct transfer from your phone so you can take your current phone and you'll be able to transfer the data for those who want to go ahead and just transfer your data from your old phone directly to this phone which I say may take some time you can use this option here to transfer directly from iPhone if you have a current iPhone but for me I want to restore from a Mac or a PC because I know that that's going to get all my information successively transferred over to the new phone um, so if you got a lot of pictures and videos and stuff like that that may be the option that you want to take but if you don't have a lot of stuff on your phone that you want to transfer this may be the quickest option to transfer all your information by just tapping the transfer from iPhone and it would transfer all the information from your current iPhone to your new iPhone. So for me, we're just going to click don't transfer apps and this is for everybody else also who's wanting to do the computer transfer. So we're going to put in my Apple ID here. All right. And it's going to ask for a code, which if you have any other device next to you or around it should pop up all right on this screen we're just going to agree on to express settings we're just going to click continue keep your iphone up to date continue all right Wallet, we're going to set that up later. Keychain, don't use. Set up later. Screen time, set up later. Don't share. Continue, continue, continue. And as you can see, the iPhone is now completely set up. So all we want to do here is open it and we're going to go here and we are going to go to general settings software update and we're going to install 
because we're going to make sure that both the phones are on 14.2 then we're going to back up the current iPhone onto the computer and then once the backup is complete we're going to restore from backup your current iPhone onto the new iPhone and that's how you would get your information transferred successfully just to give you guys a little bit of an update on what we're doing here so it is a bit of a process but let's go ahead and install here type in the password agree agree all right and now we're updating to the latest software right, by the way this is my current phone is on 14.2 and we're updating the new phone to 14.2 all right so once the phone come back on and is up to date running 14.2 now what we want to do is go back out scroll down to reset erase all content and settings erase now it's going to ask you for your passcode and click erase it's going to ask you for your Apple ID all right and that's it now this phone is ready to install or restore from backup once we get this phone downloaded now once both phones are running on the same operating system what you want to do now is connect your current phone which has all your data to your computer okay and then we're going to pop over to the computer here we're just going to click this little finder here all right and you want to click on your phone in locations all right and now what we want to do is we want to as you can see this was my last backup what we want to do is create a current backup so it would put everything that's currently on this phone transfer it to your new phone so let's click backup now okay then once we create this backup we'll be able to restore the backup to the new phone we'll be able to store the backup to your new phone and that's going to transfer every single piece of data pictures videos text messages everything from your old phone current phone to your brand new iphone 12. okay now that we got the phone completely backed up what we're going to do is we can disconnect this one and connect the new phone once it shows up here under locations we click on the new phone here click trust we're gonna let it activate all right and immediately it's gonna ask me do I want to set up as a new device or do I want to restore from backup so this is the option that we want last backed up today so it has all my current information so we're gonna restore from backup and this would put everything transfer everything from my old phone to the new phone so let's click continue so once this gets finished with the restoring process as you can see restoring in process once this gets done with the restoring process we'll take a look at some apps and messages to see if all of our information was successfully transferred over restore is complete your new phone should still look like this but we're going to swipe up from the bottom click continue I'm going to connect it to the wi-fi click next all right face face recognition um since this is the backup i'm gonna go ahead and set this up now it's asking to create a password all right now apple id it's asking from for a code from one of your other devices all right so i'm gonna just use this form here all right location services alright Apple Pay I'll have to set those up later alright so we're gonna just 
set that up later. Um, yes, I want to use my Apple Watch. I don't want to use Keychain. Of course, we want to use Siri. Okay, continue. All right, now the moment of truth. So, when I swipe up from this phone, it should look identical to this phone, right? And there you have it. The transfer is complete and the new iPhone 12 Pro Max does have a bigger screen size, but that's how you transfer from your computer or using your computer, transfer all your information to make sure the messages and everything come over from this phone to your new phone. This is basically how you would transfer all the data, pictures, videos, you know, your text messages, and also your current settings would also transfer from your old phone to your new phone and you would get everything back on your old phone just the way you had it transferred over to the new phone hope this video was helpful leave a like until next time see you in the next video